So hello everyone and um, uh, today for me, uh, the day that this video is shot is a uh, Sunday, uh, the beginning of June and um, uh, this morning I'd planned to, um, because it's Sunday, uh, not do any work and uh, you know and have a chilled out day. Uh, actually when I say not work, I find that um, I work every day actually and uh, so I, I make time for everything. And uh, so if I'm in the mood for administration or, or uh, responding to emails or something, you know, I'll do that anytime. And uh, I used to get up, actually. Um, I went through a phase of waking up about midnight or 1 a.m. and uh, um, going downstairs, uh, flicking on the kettle, making a cup of tea or coffee and, uh, and then, you know, looking at my laptop for an hour um, and responding to emails and just thinking about work and that sort of thing. And then go back to bed and uh, you know, even though I'd had the tea or coffee, um, I found that I was still able to, um, uh, to go to bed and sleep. And uh, so, you know, things do change as you get a bit older, uh, you change your habits. And uh, I suppose um, uh, y y your, y your body changes. So, um, you know, you, uh, uh, for example, uh, eating dinner late in the evening. I find that if I eat late, um, that um, affects my sleeping, stops me sleeping early. Uh, well, it, st it stops me sleeping when I go to bed if I eat late. Um, so these days I, um, I like to eat um, early. In fact, um, it's getting earlier and earlier and uh, um, it just seems to help with, uh, uh, with sleeping and that sort of thing. Anyway, I'm, uh, I'm boring you <laughs> with my, uh, uh, with my uh, stuff. And, um, but it's Sunday and I was twiddling my thumbs and I thought, I know what I'm going to do. I'm, just, I'm going to pop outside and uh, uh, and uh, and uh, shoot a video um, about uh, human nature. Now, so, yeah, a topic like human nature is a you know is a huge one. Um, I, <laughs> as you know, we uh, on this channel I like to uh, um, uh, chat about the, the you know the, the small subjects, the, the subjects that are easy to get get a handle on get a framework of reference around and um, but the reason that I thought I would talk about human nature today is um, uh, recently I've been chatting to people about the um, uh, predictability of uh, or oh, a creature has just uh, uh, zoomed along there it, it's gone into the bushes now so you, you won't see it but uh, yeah um, uh, so recently I was chatting to uh, some people about the uh, predictability of human behaviour and uh, um, it, it caused some intrigue and uh, some debate and the point I was making um, was that um, when you understand the uh, context that, that a person's in and, uh, and you have sight of the uh, uh, the surrounding data um, uh, and then you uh, put in a human being uh, you can then um, uh, predict a behavioral outcome and if you have a bit more information about the human being about the person about their personality or that group of people uh, you can predict uh, outcomes of behavior now the reason that this uh, might be a uh, uh, interesting or something that you um, uh, you know want to know about is if you are managing a business or a, a business operation um, uh, or if you're managing a group of people to achieve a task uh, depending on the nature of that task um, uh, you need different types of people with different skills and, uh, but it's always good to know um, what the predictable human behavior is uh, so that you can plan um, for things that, that go right and things that go wrong. Um, or you can plan for worst case scenarios or um, uh, uh, actually and also so you can plan um, 
uh, for thing when things go right uh, for example uh, you might be offering a service and that service um, seems to be a lot more popular than you'd uh, realized or planned for and then all of a sudden as a service provider you're inundated with requests and because you're so busy servicing existing requests you actually can't service the, the new requests and, uh, and the, you potentially have a management problem there because your um, the expectations that you've set are not being met. Uh, so a group of people that you can't uh, uh, answer to, you know, think you're rubbish because uh, because you're so successful at, um, at doing what you claimed you could do. And uh, uh, also things like um, uh, selling a product, um, you might set an expectation. Um, or market your product very very well and all of a sudden it's uh, a lot more popular than you realize and um, and so the, the big problem is is setting the expectation or disappointing people because those people are potential customers in the future uh, so if you don't manage expectations well uh, you have a problem there um, so so this is why understanding human behavior you know is very important in a business environment and um, you know, once again, um, HR departments. Um, you normally find somebody in HR um, has done a, a psychology, has some psychology training or some sociology training, um, and uh, so they can offer an explanation, some you know, generalizations about um, uh, you know what people might do, how they will respond, and what their behaviour might be. But uh, also, um, uh, uh, human behaviour in an organisation is very important if you are uh, managing uh, senior people. Um, or uh, I mean, well, it's, it's always important, but um, very senior people is, is also very important because um, you might assume that a very senior person has got their life in order and uh, uh, they're experienced and they know what they're doing. And, um, and, and so things like uh, assuming that, that they don't need any support or, or HR support is, is a given, but that's not always the case. Um, what I found in, uh, in my work experience is that higher up the food chain you go, um, uh, working with more senior people, uh, they require the, uh, the same level of of human behavior understanding um, almost they require the same level of management as someone that's uh, um, more more junior and has less experience um, so in actual fact everybody needs an amount of um, uh, awareness or or human behavior management or, or awareness of human behavior uh, to simply uh, deal with it when things go right and when uh, things go wrong. I'm being, <laughs> um, I'm actually in the south of France and uh, there's bugs and flies, mosquitoes around here. So, and uh, I keep being bitten. Uh, so if I start <laughs> whacking myself or blowing on, on my arm, I'm just trying to blow away the bugs. Um, it's very warm here also. Uh, if you were to see my attire, I am actually, uh, yeah, I'm wearing shorts and uh, flip-flops, that sort of thing. It's uh, it's about 30 degrees. Actually, it's a little less. It's uh, it starts with a two, but I think it's the late 20s right now. Um, so it's uh, when it hits 30 degrees centigrade, I'm I'm in pieces. It's too hot. Um, but we have a, a a bit of a breeze, so I'm I'm cooler. Anyway, uh, back to human behaviour. Now, um, because in an organization where you have key personnel or key people, um, uh, so this might be um, heads of sales departments or, or head of marketing um, or head of fulfillment or operations, uh, that person um, has an awful lot of responsibility that's not always um, clear. Uh, managing people and uh, managing their welfare um, and understanding how best to manage people so you get the uh, the most out of them 
And so again, understanding human behavior, you know, is, is very important. Now, one of the things I'm aware of uh, um, when I uh, when I speak about uh, human behavior in a business context is that um, it can get very, um, uh, because it is complex subject matter, and it's very subjective. It's very hard um, to uh, to make specific points uh, because the the context in each business or each group of people or or person, you know, can be vastly different. Um, uh, so I often generalise uh, to make a point, and um, and uh, so the, the the point I'm making is having an awareness of human behavior even in the simplest most general terms is often very useful in in a work environment and it doesn't matter if that work environment is um, making sausages or providing um, management consultancy or uh, providing high technology or a production line um, or a legal service or an accountancy service. Um, understanding the basics, uh, uh, the, the brief uh, general human behaviour, um, having, having an awareness and a knowledge about this is always going to be beneficial. Understanding what people might do, how they might be feeling and how to manage that. Now, one of the things that I have said many times and I believe is very, uh, very true and, uh, and this is the case for, you know, not just human beings, and, uh, but business processes and uh, manufacturing processes. And that is the awareness of the problem and having an accurate, accurate awareness of the problem is, you know, is sometimes around 70% uh, the hard work to solving that problem in the first place. Simply understanding uh, that you have a problem and you've accurately identified what that problem is. For example, some people, um, there is a personality type that lends itself to people that prefer working by themselves. Now, now that doesn't mean, you know, in isolation in a room by themselves, but the process or the thing that they are doing, they simply like to be left alone uh, to actually do that. Now that is in contrast to um, other people with a, a different personality that like to actually work with someone on the task and share all the work effort. So obviously if you have those two people working together you're going to have this unbelievable conflict very quickly and it has no bearing on their ability to do the job. It's just that these two people can't work together because they have different work styles. So if you literally separate them and then add another person uh, to work with the person that likes working with people, um, all of a sudden everybody becomes functional once again. So, you know, this uh, understanding uh, can be understood with some, you know, basic human behavior um, understanding and tools. Um, uh, so understanding that, you know, not everyone likes to work together, you know, it's such a simple thing. Now, uh, you know, what I've, uh, what I have explained, you know, sounds obvious, but it is amazing how many times in the workplace that this actually happens. And what I have found in the past is I've said to people, hey, would you prefer to work uh, by yourself or would you like to work um, on this with, an in, uh, with somebody else? And, uh, and I simply let them you know, tell me what, uh, what, what is their preference. And if the resource is there and if it's logical to, you know, to put people together or to separate them, you simply do it. Now, it's amazing, in many companies, that simple process simply doesn't happen uh, because it might not be, um, they might not be set up to do that, they might not have the awareness, uh, there might be other factors that are demanding certain um, responses from people and uh, so it doesn't happen. But what you're left with is frustrated people. And uh, so this is just a rough example of some very basic understanding around human behavior. And once again, uh, you might be listening to this and uh, you might be thinking, hey, Stephen, this is, uh, this is obvious stuff. You know, you're not telling us something that we don't already know. But 
I'm going to then uh, respond by saying, okay, can you think of an example in your own workplace where exactly that hasn't worked well? And I bet you, you come back and you say, ah, oh, actually, yeah, the, uh, yes, there, 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 there actually was an example of exactly that. So, so this is something very tangible, very simple. So imagine what it can look like when you've got some, you know, very complicated dynamics. And, uh, you know, you don't have to use your imagination or go too far uh, to, you know, think about, you know, some of the horror stories that exist in the workplace with respect to human behavior and the negative aspects of human behavior, you know, not going as planned. So it is very interesting. Now, also, you know, many times I've, I've thought, you know, when I've been tired or I've been responding to someone, you know, half of me uh, has, has, has thought, you know, why don't you just go and take a human behavior psychology course and, uh, you know, uh, and make my life easier, you know, <laughs> just learn about psychology a little bit and uh, it'll help. And I actually found that that res response, in some cases, it might be right, but you know, it's probably unhelpful because it's not actually needed. What's needed often is a solution to meet the problem, you know, in real time. And so it is better to just uh, pull people aside that um, uh, where the frustration is occurring, simply sit them down and say, hey, uh, tell me what you think is working well, what's not working well, and, uh, and I'm here to help you fix that real quick. Um, so let's talk. And that is, in my experience, the fastest way, the most productive way to getting a solution in place for many human behavior related problems. So there you go. Um, I, uh, I think I, I might leave uh, this uh, very brief talk there because I'm getting bitten and uh, and I, I feel I need to um, <laughs> yeah, either uh, my legs are, are itching crazy um, but what I meant what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause right here and uh, I will either uh, come back and extend this video or I will um, I'll, I'll leave it here for now and but we will come back to um, human behavior once again anyway I hope everyone is well have a good day and we'll speak again soon